the road from radio pop to Grammy nominated club mix is paved in cables and software here at the Venice studios of Junkie XL. Junkie XL is my producer's name, but I mean, everybody calls me Tom. When Madonna's label asked Tom. Uh, my friends called me Junkie. Huh? I'm confused. Uh, this guy, to remix Four Minutes. <laughs> four minutes eh? They didn't give him the whole song. So in this case, they just gave me the vocal. If you want it, you already got it. Tom took it from there. You see, he's a classically trained musician. Well, my, my mom was a violin teacher, and then I started working in a music store in 85, and they sold the first generation of synthesizers. Today, almost everything's done inside Pro Tools 8. Now I'm playing the piano with the bass. He does it all. He plays all the instruments. Another synth that's just doing this. And then I recorded the third guitar. Little piano. That's this part right here. Hey, let's uh, throw that piece of vocal in. And if I switch everything on. Do it right and you get yourself Grammy nominated in the best remixed recording non-classical category. So it's going to be an uh, exciting night. No, ma no matter who's going to win, I'm going to be happy. This evolving art form makes the record companies happy as well. Those people know what's going to happen as soon as that track is done. You know, like the track is going to get sent out to DJs that are friends of mine or I play it out live at live shows and people get excited about the music and then hopefully buy the original album. From the car to the club to the Staples Center. Multiple, multiple, multiple layers of really small sounds that together become like... That is the anatomy of the remix. There's so much more we could show you about... We only got four minutes to save the Two minutes, actually. In Venice, I'm Dave Malkoff, CBS 2 News.